Hi, this is Anthony and welcome back to my show. As always, before I begin, please click the subscribe button below. It really helps me out and it doesn't cost you anything. Thanks so much. Let's keep today's video short. I'm going to run through a few penny stocks, some of which I currently own and some of which I've owned in the past. All of these have been really beaten down in the bear market. There's a lot of bad things going on in the world, obviously a war in Ukraine, which has in part contributed to higher oil and gas prices. Interest rates going up, a likely recession ahead of us, big name companies slowing down hiring or even laying off employees, and now the stock market is dipped into bear territory. Please be sure to watch till the end of this video for important disclaimers on investing in any stocks, especially very speculative ones like these. First one up is Matterport, stock symbol MTTR. This company makes cameras and software for real estate agents to use in displaying properties for rent or sale. I've heard from agents that I know that these products are well respected and many people believe that as we move into a metaverse world that this company will benefit from helping to create visually the 3D world. It does look from their most recent filings that last quarter they did have diluted earnings per share of 23 cents. So that's good. From a Zach's Equity Research article published yesterday, it looks like expected for the current quarter, they will have a loss of 14 cents per share. Link to that in the show notes. So obviously read all that you can before making any decisions. At around $3.60 a share, this may well be a long-term buy for a well-diversified portfolio. It's a real company with real products. It's not a barely ongoing concern dealing in cryptocurrencies. I'm still holding on to my shares, which I have at a much higher price, and I may buy more shares in the future. This is an intriguing stock, but always do your own research before you invest in anything, especially in speculative stocks like this. Next up is Nano Dimension Limited, stock symbol NNDM. I've done many videos on the stock, which I no longer own. When I say many videos, I mean I've probably done a dozen or more some of them going in depth into their financial reports. I do not see them becoming profitable anytime soon. They've lost over 96% of their stock's value in the past seven years, and I don't see how they're going to turn the company around anytime soon. <clears throat> Again, with this choppy stock market, you could buy a few shares and it could pop up a few percent, you could make some money. But I think for the medium term, the price is going to go sideways or drift lower. They've already had a reverse split and I wouldn't be surprised if they have another one, which is bad for some investors because certain brokerage accounts will charge you a fee for reverse splits. My broker charges $38 for a reverse split. Personally, I would avoid Nano Dimension. Rush Street Interactive, stock symbol RSI. It's losing 24 cents a share in the most recent quarter and if you look at the chart, a lot of people have lost a lot of money in the stock. They've just announced that one of their co-founders is leaving and being replaced by the CFO. Something like that could indicate problems or it could indicate that you're going to get a change in leadership which reverses their losses. I'd be highly skeptical of the stock. It's not an investment, it's a speculation, which you could end up making money on, but the odds are probably better that you're going to lose money on it. Now Hut 8. This is a Bitcoin miner based in Canada. From their financials, at least in the past quarter, they do seem to be profitable or at least have had positive earnings per share. Obviously, cryptocurrencies are down in this market, including Bitcoin. I'm extremely skeptical about cryptocurrencies, but the reason I bought this one is I'd sold some other stock and bought some Palantir. I had just a small amount of money remaining and bought a few shares of Hut 8. This is another one that is highly speculative, but at the low prices that it's at now, there may be some upside in the near to medium future. One thing to keep in mind is that it's a Canadian company, and many times when you look up the stock price on the internet, it will give you the price in Canadian dollars. Obviously, if you're an American buying it through your brokerage account, you'll be buying it with US dollars on NASDAQ. Don't make the easy to make mistake of buying it in your brokerage account in the U in US dollars and then later on googling the price and thinking that it's gone up a fair amount because you're seeing the price in Canadian dollars. Again, I've put a link to their financials in the show notes. Okay, lastly, let's consider Virgin Galactic stock symbol SPCE and be careful not to confuse this one with their sister company Virgin Orbit Holdings stock symbol VORB. Virgin Galactic is the company that's putting high net worth individuals into space as space tourists. 
Just a quick look at their financials in the quarter ending March 2022. They had revenue of $319,000 and they lost $93 million. Again, this is a real company with a real service. It's not a scam dealing in cryptocurrencies, but it's going to be a while before they start making money. I've done a couple videos on this company recently and they've been very popular. Please check out those for more in-depth analysis of their financials. And as I mentioned, one of the biggest threats to this company is what happens if one of their spacecraft malfunctions and crashes killing the passengers on board. I meant the stock at a much higher prices <clears throat> and I have a handful of shares. They're in a Roth IRA, so there's no sense selling at a loss because I can't take it against gains, so I'm holding on to this for the long term. I think that at these low prices, or perhaps lower prices, this might be a long-term buy. Not recommending that you buy it, just recommending that you do some research and make that decision for yourself. So those are my thoughts. What are yours? I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments in the comments section below, whether it's just sharing with my viewers which ones of these that you own and how many shares, or at what cost basis. Do you think any are worth shorting? Have you sold any in the past and made money? Hopefully by now you've subscribed to this channel and liked this video. I would love it if you looked at my other videos. Hopefully click the like button on those and leave a comment, even a short one. All those things really help me out in building a following. A few more thoughts about investing as we wind down this video and then there'll be some interesting items concerning eBay at the end of this video, so be sure to watch until the end. Just about every stock gets pulled down in a bear market, and most of them rightfully so. Some are good companies that just got ahead of themselves and are now back down to more reasonable P.E. ratios. Others are companies that are down because they're headed towards bankruptcy or delisting or inhabiting another world of the pink sheets. Those stocks you should probably avoid, but of course people can make money buying them when they're really down and then selling them quickly if they pop up a bit. As I always mention, this is not investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some guy on the internet that you don't know making YouTube videos that hopefully provide some entertainment. But I try to create entertainment that gives you a starting point where you can do your own research and potentially find stocks that might have some place in your well-diversified long-range portfolio. Since this channel is not yet monetized, if you want to help me out, I sell small collectibles on eBay. Things like old stock and bond certificates, coins and banknotes, stamps and postal items and books, along with other things such as Masonic items. You can find all my items on eBay with my username stock underscore tycoon. If you're interested in buying silver coins as collectibles or investments, I usually have some listed. If you're interested in investing in gold or silver as a commodity, I have a few YouTube videos that explain how you can easily do that, plus some of the pitfalls in doing so. I'm on Instagram at Anthony R. R. Mills. You can follow me there. Thanks for watching and good luck in investing.